most of the time we try to design for the, the best, but I actually think like disruption starts with just the better, right? How do you get to six? How do you get to seven? This is Lynn. She is an event planner, a visionary one. Imagine she's you, right? Um, and, and she's starting to think through, how do I use AI at every single point throughout curating an event? Like, what would that look like? And um, I started to think, okay, well, if I was Lynn, uh, I always want five of like the most important things always kind of co come top of mind. The first one is, how do I differentiate an experience with exhibitors, sponsors? How do I demonstrate ROI? Right? And by the way, if I'm off on any of these, feel free to like, let me know. Um, accessible and inclusive, more than ever before, right? really important. We're all in this room to not just hear the speaker, right? you're actually here to also connect with one another. So sparking connections. And then last but not least, and this is where AI starts to hit the road and fly, how do we adapt and act in real time as our events are unfolding, as it hits 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, how will AI partner with us then? Not all the pre-planning, but like then. So, um, feed loop, C event. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I just want to say, uh, but I did take a look at like what was the current landscape for for, for events. And uh, about a year ago, some of you have probably already played with this. I feel like this is like a uh, base level, right? Feed loop and C event. They they launch. Um, session generators, right, for like description. So a lot of the text. So a speaker might send you, you know, their blurb or their keynote. I want to pull out just a, like a little bit of that, or I want to generate a bit of a social marketing play, right? How do I generate content that way? They've really embedded a nice way to say, hey, what's your audience? Who's the speaker? What does their session look like? And you can then automatically like plug and play there. So that'd be like level one. This is pre, pre, um, pre event. As you start to shift into like Bizabo and, and Click, one thing that struck me was uh, they have the smart badges. And what I love about that is that they have lights at the bottom of it that they can use for different things. So it's reusable, it's recyclable, it's sustainable. Um, but this smart badge is going to be transformative through the rest of the journey, and I'll, and I'll show you how. But the easy one, you'll notice that the taps of the badges are tapping together. Um, as I tap a badge, and I was like, I don't have mine. That's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> I looked down. As I was like, hey, Candice, so nice to meet you, I might be like, boop, right? That is going to trigger and feed into the algorithm later on. But let's say, like, Candice and I met up, and there was a bit of time and space throughout the conference to say, hey, um, you're going to want to connect with a few people. Let's do a bit of matchmaking. So x.ai, also acquired by Bizabo, um, does curated matchmaking based on who you are and what your interests or intent of the conference is. So if I wanted to meet more suppliers, more vendors, more people, uh, if I was prospecting, whatever I'm interested in as an attendee, I can now start to like get plugged into like a quick 15-minute coffee chat. Right? Pretty cool. I was, I was getting really excited about this. Um, as, as the event continues, the event starts up, and uh, I come on stage. Uh, um, there are a few different examples, and we've covered this a little bit, right? So Interprefy, uh, Wordly is another one. And I would actually argue ChatGPT is probably getting better than the rest of them, where even though it's a generic LLM, uh, I could start to live translate and live do captioning, right? So, so this is a, a view of that. As I continue on, I was like, well, are there any stats? Like, well, what do, what do people care about most? And uh, Forrester just dropped this report that said uh, event planners, will, and I would, I'd be curious for everyone in this room, demonstrating ROI matters most. Is that, right? Is that fair to say? OK. Someone's like, most? Is that the most important thing? Right. So, and I think that's a debate, right? But um, how do you demonstrate ROI? Let's bring it back to Bizabo and the click badge. So imagine that this is uh, a map of your event. These blue dots represent people, right? So live, what I love about um, where they're going is that you can get location-based insights as an event planner uh, as your day unfolds. So I can track people, right, to say, hey, are they at the exhibitors that I thought I would drive the traffic to that ex exhibitor to? And where it starts to change the game is AI, I would say, notices that out of the entire exhibitor hall, there's actually a gap. That top right corner with the red box, 
Nobody's going there right now. I promised the exhibitor that they would get X amount of people and nobody's visiting them. Now, what I start to do is um, Visibo would, would gamify the, the whole piece where it says, hey, I'll give, you, I'll give you 150 points. I don't even know what the points go to, but I'll give you 150 points if you, you go check out this vendor. So now as a participant, I'm like, I want 150 points. I'm running and I'm like, I'm like going to check it out. I get extra points for checking in with that vendor or taking a look at their demo or, or whatever it is. And that allows me to now start to prove ROI in a, in a really meaningful way, right? Um, as you were all sitting at breakfast, imagine you all had click badges, right? Uh, instead of saying like, hey, everybody, we're starting in 10 minutes. Get your bus in the room. Now I can actually just start flashing an orange light. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Uh, my badge is flashing. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> like, oh, that probably means something. I think we need to go, <laughs> right? Or there's a bit of communication that that's what happened. So, so there's a lot of different ways you can play with these these badges. And then, last but not least, um, as they continue this journey, there's this piece of uh, personalized synthesis of what the the conference was. So Jane gets back, and as she lands, um, it says, "Hey, guess what? At Canspep over the past week, you made 53 new connections." Pretty powerful. You indicated that you wanted to follow up with about eight people. So, so click here to start to send them a message. And um, you know, a lot of I'm going to do this in a second, so don't blame me. But a lot of speakers say, "Hey, you probably want um, the session topics and the content and blah blah blah." Here's a link to all their resources. These are all my keynotes that I plugged in. Just a shameless plug. But anyway. <laughs> The whole point being, like, exploration is the spark to innovation.